Hello alls. Today we are going to explore on experiment 2. Determining the heat of reaction. Learning outcomes for this experiment are. To determine the heat capacity of a calorimeter. And. To determine the heat of neutralization of HCl and NaOH. Let's continue to the theoretical background of this experiment. What is calorimeter? What about heat released? And heat absorbed? Heat released by the reaction will be absorbed by the solution and the calorimeter. Here is the relation between heat released by the reaction and heat absorbed by the solution and the calorimeter. We are going to identify the heat capacity of calorimeter, which represent by capital C small c. So, what is heat capacity of calorimeter? It is amount of heat required to increase the temperature of the calorimeter by 1 degree Celsius. Don't forget to prepare all the apparatus and chemical reagents that will be used in this experiment. Let's start the adventure. Let's start part A. Determination of the heat capacity of calorimeter. Clean and rinse the inner container of calorimeter. Ensure that the insulator is dry. This will help conserve the heat. Measure the temperature of an empty calorimeter, P1, making sure that the thermometer bulb is not in contact with the metal surface of the container. By pack 50 ml of distilled water into a 100 ml beaker. Next, heat the beaker to a temperature between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Check that the temperature of water is within the same temperature range. Pour the hot water into the calorimeter and close the lid immediately. And quickly record the initial temperature of the hot water, and that is T2. At this point of time, you might need your friend's help to start the stopwatch. Next, you must observe and record the decrease in temperature every 10 seconds for 2 minutes. Record the temperature that remains constant, that is T3 you can tabulate the data. Part B. Determination of the heat of neutralization between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Pipette 25 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution into a clean calorimeter. Make sure that the temperature of the calorimeter has returned to room temperature. By pet 25 ml of 1 molar hydrochloric acid solution, this HCl solution is placed in a different 100 ml beaker. Record the initial temperature of each solution. With the thermometer inside the calorimeter, lift the lid slightly and quickly pour in the HCl solution into the calorimeter. 
close the lid immediately and stir the solution occasionally. And finally, record the maximum temperature reached. Now you can tabulate the data. And of course, you should be able to calculate the heat of neutralization. Ha! <sighs> Experiment is done. See you again.